Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert any SVG file into an STL. I'll go ahead and supply all the links in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out. But let me go ahead and walk you through this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is search up an SVG image. For my case, I'll go ahead and look up, a, let's just say a Mustang GT SVG. And you can grab any image, by the way, it doesn't have to be an SVG necessarily. So right now I'm just looking for a good image to use, but we'll just go with this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open the image. I'm going to go ahead, right click on that. If I can right click on this, I'm having a hard time. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just save it by taking a snapshot of it. So I'll go ahead and do it like that. And call it GT Mustang. Save that. Now the next thing I, you're going to have to do. Open up Photoshop. If you have Photoshop. If you have any kind of other imaging software to manipulate the image. I would go ahead and just follow the same ideas and principles that I'm going to be using right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is load the image. Got to convert it into a smart object. Go ahead and say yes. You got to take the wand. You basically got to delete the background so that the main image is just the object you're going to be printing. So you take the trim, make a copy. And that copy, you're going to go ahead go to blending options. You're going to go to color overlay and you're going to make it completely black. And so these two things right here are going to be our layers for when we create the STL file. So we're going to do go ahead and quick export as a PNG. Go ahead and save it to my downloads file. GT Mustang. I'll call it the prep file. And so what you're going to need to go ahead and do is go to SVG converter. I'll go ahead and provide the link so that way you can get there easier. I'll go ahead and choose my file, download, upload my prep file, uh, specs threshold. I usually keep put at eight so that way I get a clean processed image. Let's go ahead and processing right now and I'll go ahead and download that file so I could go ahead and keep that. And what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go over to tinkercad.com. If you're not registered with them, go ahead and create a free account. What you're going to do is create a new design. You're going to import the SVG file that you just downloaded. I'm going to click on art. Scale it down a lot so that way it can fit really nice and neat. Import. Okay, so now I have my two main parts, my two layers for the file that I'm going to create the STL file. So, what you want to do, get a better view of this. What I do is I go ahead and copy and paste it. I take one of these cubes right here which this cube is basically going to do is it's going to cut the model. And so I make another copy because I want to delete this part off of this side. So right here, I'm going to go up to here and group that. I'm going to go ahead and group this right here. And now I got my two files that are split. I'm going to give this a color just for the look. There we are. Give this a little bit more depth. I'm going to do that. Make this a little bit smaller for the trim. What I'll go ahead and do is click right here. This allows me to select a plane. I'm going to select the plane on top of the base file. I'm going to click. I'm going to press the F key on my keyboard. No, I'm sorry. The D, the D on the keyboard, which will bring this file up to this plane. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on both of them. And what you do is you have this little bar right up here, the line. And what you're going to do is you're going to align them centered. That way you get the clean look. And so right there, I got my new SVG file ready for use. Just converted from an STL. 
I'm sorry, converted from a SVG file, this STL.